Hello, my lovely ones. Welcome to today's podcast. My name is Folamina. It's good to have you on. Today, we'll be talking about gratitude to God. Gratitude to God. Hallelujah. What is gratitude? Gratitude is a readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness done to one. In Psalms 106 verse 1, it says, Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endures forever. Hallelujah. There are many Bible characters who showed gratitude to God, and we'll be looking at them today. So we'll be looking at examples from the scriptures and also the benefits of gratitude to God. Amen. Amen. We would start with Hannah. Hannah was the mother of Samuel. Amen. When God answered her prayers, when remember when she requested for a child, God gave her a son in return. She gave God a long prayer in return. She gave God a long prayer of thanksgiving. Amen. She also dedicated her son and gave her son Samuel back to God hallelujah for his service after winning him she gave Samuel back to God after winning him isn't that amazing she was a woman of faith hallelujah David in the Bible also King David also gave thanks to God after winning his battles against the Philistines hallelujah you can find that in 2nd Samuel chapter 22 verses 1 to 51 God appreciated the thanksgiving of David. Amen. King David gave thanks to God after winning his battles against the Philistines. Amen. This was amazing. Hallelujah. God inhabits our praises. Do you know that? Jesus Christ also gave thanks to God before he distributed the bread and the fish to feed the 5,000 people who came to him to hear him preach. You can find that in John. John chapter 6 verse 11. We can go on and on with so many examples in the scriptures of how people showed gratitude to God, gave thanks to God for one thing or the other done for them. Amen. We can go on and on. We can remember the story of the ten lepers. Amen. Who came to Jesus to be healed? In Luke chapter 17, verses 14 to 19. I'll read verse 14. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priest. And it came to pass, and as they went, they were cleansed. Hallelujah. Jesus sent them to the priest, and they were all healed on their way. Hallelujah. But how many came back to give thanks? Glory to God. That's a very big question. So what are the benefits of gratitude? What are the benefits of gratitude? Remember what happened to one of the lepers that came back to give thanks. He was made whole. You will be made whole. Hallelujah. You will be made whole. Your life will be whole. Your life will be whole again. Your life will be whole again. You will become healthy in the name of Jesus. Another benefit is that God gives you access to his presence. He begins to see you as a grateful person. Another one is God is magnified. In your gratitude, God is what? Magnified. Gratitude to God brings balance into our spiritual life. Glory to God. There must be balance in your spiritual life. You can't be lacking in one and doing well in another. You must be balanced all through. You have to be a balanced Christian. Praise the Lord. Gratitude to God also creates an atmosphere of the supernatural hey miracles happen in his name when you are grateful when you are thanking him when you are in an atmosphere of gratitude when you're in an atmosphere of thanksgiving hallelujah it creates the supernatural atmosphere gratitude that's what it does amen i remember the story of paul and silas when they were in the prison how they prayed and how they danced Hallelujah. They sang praise unto God. And guess what? The chains were broken. The prison gates were open. Amen. 
this can only be done by the supernatural act of God glory to God amen and this can be motivated or provoked by our praises by our thanks by our gratitude to God no matter what the situation is in everything the Bible says give thanks they were in the prison but they gave thanks they showed gratitude it tells you how deep gratitude is amen gratitude also takes away depression and brings joy it brings supernatural joy exceeding joy let's look at Isaiah chapter 51 verse 3 are you with me for the Lord shall comfort Zion he will comfort all her waste places and he will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord joy and gladness shall be found therein thanksgiving and the voice of melody amen amen hey the blessings also stays stays in your heart when you give gratitude it stays in your life it stays in your heart it stays in your home that's what gratitude does the blessing of God stays there the blessings of God makes its abode in your home in your children in your husband in everything that concerns you gratitude to God also brings healing amen healing takes place when we show gratitude when we are thankful healing power of God is provoked with our gratitude praise the Lord the list goes on and on and on and on the benefits are endless hallelujah don't be one who is ungrateful don't be one who cannot go back and say thank you remember the leper that went back he was made whole again praise the Lord as if nothing ever happened as if he was never a leper God can turn your life around for good what we can do today is begin to show gratitude and be thankful when Jesus Christ was you know was uh, uh, giving thanks when he prayed for the bread five loaves of bread and two fishes what happened those things multiplied when you give thanks things that God puts in your hand multiplies it multiplies there is a miracle in, in showing gratitude to God praise the Lord amen we don't bless our meal our food because we think somebody wants to harm us with the food no we bless our food because we give thanks to the one who provided it it shows that we are grateful he said give thanks unto the Lord for his mercies endure forever his mercies will be evident in your life praise the Lord I can go on and on and on on gratitude I want to implore us today to have a heart of gratitude no matter what the world throws at you no matter what the situation looks like begin to thank God begin to praise him begin to show gratitude children show gratitude to your parents don't be an ungrateful child it goes a long way to be of benefit to you in the future have a sense of gratitude today because this is the way forward hallelujah this is the way to go as a Christian this is the way to go as an individual let me tell you the secret is gratitude the secret to the supernatural is gratitude the secret to the supernatural is thanksgiving glory to God hallelujah I want to just uh, let us join me in this confession now say father Lord father Lord God give us grateful hearts give us a grateful heart towards you we give thanks to you O Lord because your mercy endures forever amen have you been blessed by today's episode gratitude if you've been blessed I want you to share this podcast with your friends and let them know that God is real and he needs to be giving thanks to and we need to show gratitude to him because there's a miracle in showing gratitude it's supernatural praise God it's supernatural because everything you do would multiply it's like a secret word amen like a secret password or a passcode <laughs> you need to do what show gratitude to God thank you so much for listening to today's episode I look forward to having you on the next episode thank you and God bless you